All right, let's see what the first one is here. Hey, welcome to Farmhouse Teas. I'm Sienne and this is Paul, the farmer. <laughs> And we wanted to do a little unboxing and talking about heirloom roses today. We have over here planted some of our older roses and we wanted to dive into some other types of roses specifically for growing rose hips. Rose hips are really high in vitamin C and a great way to get your vitamin C and grow it yourself is by growing your own rose hips. This Maybe I should go grab those, huh? I, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay, so we got this box with the roses in it from Heirloom Roses. And we're going to open it up and see what we've got inside. So I've never ordered roses through the mail before, have you? No, this is a new thing on us, but it looks like a lot of people do it. So yep. interested to see what's inside. Let's check it out and see what we've got in there. All right, check it out. We got four roses in here. Look at that. They're all packaged in their own little separate compartment and uh, they look like they're in really good shape. Okay, I'm going to pull them out of here. So look at, look at here. We've got planting instructions on the packing in the box. Right, so yeah, pick the location, prepare the soil, plant, and provide. Yeah, that's so that's cool. Handy. And that for, super simple. for us here, it says uh, to protect from changes in environment from our nursery in Oregon, we sometimes defoliate the roses. Please plant per the instructions included and foliage will return. So, cool. We know these uh, roses came from near near to home here. Grown locally. Yeah. All right. Let's see what the first one is here. Look at that. All right. So let's set the box off to the side here. We got four four new rose plants here. All right. So this one Angelina. is called Angelina. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at Angelina, the first one here. And Angelina is a damask flower, so we have a whole blog post on our growcreatesip.com blog about damask flowers and how they're really good for using the petals for making rose petal tea. This specific flower gets three inch blooms on it. It also has lots of clusters of roses. So we're gonna give this one a try and we're gonna use the petals for tea. It sounds like a nice big petal. Yeah, it should be a big, big bloom. Mm -hmm. And then it should also, because it's an heirloom rose, if we don't clip all the buds off, we should get rose hips. Oh, good. Yep, so we'll get a little of both off of that. Yep. Petals and rose hips. And it's hardy in zones six, seven, eight, and nine. And it repeats blooms. And it's from the year 1976. So it's been around a while. Yep, definitely an heirloom. Next one we have here, Lavender Floor Show. All right. Well, the first word gives away why I picked this one because you know. It must have my uh, favorite color lavender purple. blooms. Yeah. Okay, so cool. It actually, they look more pink. So it's actually very pink. It's not so much lavender, but we'll see when it grows. What yeah, it, maybe it'll have a hint of it on there. It says lovely lavender. So um, it's a semi-double two and a half bloom. Um, it has 12 petals. Interesting. Yes. Um, it continually blooms, just like this other one. It'll repeat bloom. It. So this one is a bushy plant. It gets 10 feet tall. Wow. And this one over here didn't say if it was climbing or a bush plant. So we're really going to have to think about that when we decide where we're, we're going to put this. We're going to have to have a large space for this one. Yeah. Okay. And it says the fragrance is like that of an expensive perfume. This one is for hips. So you can use the petals and tea. But the main point of it the is... The main point of this is going to be hips. So I'm going to have to try not to bring those lavender blooms inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because if you clip them off, then you're not going to get the rose, rose hips. hips. So this is mildly fragrant, whereas this one was a lot more fragrant. So 
Okay. Um, this one's only from the year 2002. Ooh. So it's not as old as this one. Yeah. So, all right. All right, we're cool. Ready to move on to the next one. All right, what do we have next here? Definitely has different color foliage so far. Yeah, it does. It's got a lot more red. Yeah. And there, and these are more green. Mm hmm. Tawny Tiger. The Tawny Tiger. Tawny no Tiger. It's got like an orange color. Yeah. Like yeah. Oh, this is why I picked this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's got so stripes like the, tiger stripes yeah, on the it's blossom. Kind of orange and pink striped. So, like a tiger. Okay, so it's got mm -hmm. really big blossoms on it, huh? Yeah, really big blossoms, and it's striped. It's a striped with terracotta and brown, and it has a dramatic effect. So, the, nice. I, this is kind of a fun one. Yeah, that'll be fun. To that'll pick out. be really cool. It has nine to 16 petals on a rose. So, that's mm -hmm. way more than either one of these. So this one's just for show. This one's just for show. It, it'll still put out petals, obviously, and since these are not sprayed because they're heirloom, we can use the petals in tea. Mm -hmm. um, they aren't necessarily the ideal petals for tea, but if we don't cut off all the pretty petals, if I can resist, we can find out what kind of rose hips this one grows. Okay, cool. All and right. Last but not least, let's check out. All right, one. last one coming up. Let's see what they've sent us here. Sanita. This is another yellow orange one that's showy. Okay. Oh, wow. That's we'll, really pretty. Yeah, we'll put that up there. It's kind of peach like. Yeah. So the Sanita, it's a shrub. So this okay. one's a shrub. The other one, I didn't say, so we'll have to look that up and see because this was the one that gets 10 feet right in shrubs. Mm -hmm. And this one we don't know, and this one we don't know, but this one turns into a shrub. So, okay, all this will be important for where we plant it. And yes, we want to consider all of that. So this one has three inch blooms, like the first one that we opened here. Okay. And it has 15 or more petals. So wow. It's got yeah. a lot of petals. Nice. The soft golden orange edged by brush strokes of deep, vibrant orange. So um, they say you will see this from across the garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is another just her fun one. Okay, so we have two for fun and two for fun and two for practical, practical purposes. Use. Yeah. So again, we can still use these for petals for tea, the petals for tea, or we can resist cutting the pretty petals. I'm probably not going to be very good at that and see what kind of rose hips that we get. If it's 10 feet tall, I might not have such a problem. That's right. You yeah. won't be able to reach the ones at the top. Yeah. So <laughs> that's the four roses we got from Heirloom Roses. roses. Yeah. And um, there's no affiliate or anything. These are just roses we purchased for our own purposes. And we are going to do some experimenting and we'll keep you posted on what kind of blooms we get and how they do here and what kind of rose hips they get and how to use them. If you're looking for more tips on growing roses for both petals for tea and for using rose hips for that vitamin C or for a tea, make sure you check out our blog, growcreatesip.com. We'll put some links down below to a bunch of different growing tips and how to blend tea with those parts of the roses. So All right. I think that covers it for us today. Thanks for watching. And it was fun unboxing these roses for you all. Yep, and we'll be back showing you what we do with these and where we put them. So we'll catch you next time. All right. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe for more growing, creating, and sipping videos. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like this video here.